So let's get started right away. Of course, the first step that we need to do is to install Adobe Experience Design on our computer. Now, at the moment of recording this video, Adobe Experience Design is only available for Mac. However, and I have a tweet to prove it, they have answered that Adobe Experience Design is on track to deliver a Windows release before the end of the year, meaning 2016. And we're already on the first week of December, so we should hope a version for Windows very soon. It is important to notice that also, at the moment of recording this video, this tool is still in beta, meaning that maybe there are going to be some rough edges. But believe me, I've been using this for a couple of months now, maybe even four months or, or something like that, and it's been working great for me. So to be able to download this tool, you will have to go to adobe.com on your browser, adobe.com slash products slash experience dash design dot html, and feel free to pause the video for just a second if you want to write that down, and you will find this download for Mac button to this side of the page and also to the bottom of the page. If you are doing this from a Windows PC, you will actually be able to see a button that says notify for Windows or something similar. But go ahead and try this out from a Mac and click the download for Mac button. Now, if you don't have a Mac computer, chances are that by the time you see these videos, there is already a Windows version for this since I mentioned it's going to be available before 2017. So just go ahead and try it out from a Windows computer, I guess and you should be able to find a download for Windows button as well. I will be updating this video anyway, as soon as there is a Windows version. So when you click on that button, you will actually be redirected to download this DMG file that will allow you to install Experience Design. Now, all you have to do is click on it from your browser and you're going to be seeing this new window that is the installer for the Experience Design and you have this label that tells you what to do. So go ahead and double click the icon to install, click on open, and you're going to be needing to enter your credentials for your computer. You will also be prompted to enter your credentials for your Adobe ID. If you do not have an Adobe ID yet, from this page, you can also get an Adobe ID, or if you have an enterprise ID from your company or school, you can also sign in with that ID as well. So I'm going to sign in with my Adobe ID in this case. And first, there are three questions that we have to answer. The first one is, which is my skill level with experience design? I am going to select experience. Eh, I've been using this for four months or so. I am a mobile developer, so I am going to select this option in here and I am downloading this for my own professional use, so I am going to select this one in this case. Click continue, and the installation will begin. It shouldn't take long, and while the installation happens, you will actually be able to learn more about experience design. I suggest that you just leave this to install for a couple of minutes, and we are going to be heading back once the installation is complete. While that installation happens, I suggest you also install Adobe Experience Design for your iPhone or Android mobile device. Now, this isn't a tool that you will be using to design per se, but that you will be able to use to test your designs. So here I am on the App Store for my iPhone and I have already installed the Adobe Experience Design application but I suggest you do search for it, just like Adobe XD or Adobe Experience Design, and you should be able to find it so you can install it in your device as well, which will allow you to test again in real time the designs that you will be making from your desktop. Again, you can also install from an Android device. I suggest you go ahead and do that as well, so you have this application installed on your devices, for when you want to test your design on an actual device. Now, it's not going to be an app running on your device, it's just that you will be able to interact with your design from the Adobe Experience Design application for either of these two platforms. And last but not least, while the Experience Design tool is being installed, 
just go ahead and navigate to bit.ly slash Adobe XD sample so you can actually download from my Google Drive one Adobe XD file that we will be using at the beginning of this course to learn a thing or two about Adobe Experience Design. So again, navigate to bit.ly, that is B-I-T dot L-Y slash Adobe XD sample. You will see this Google Drive window up here and all you have to do is click on the download button at the top right corner and you will have this file and all of these items inside of it that we can later open on Adobe XD when the installation completes. Once the installation finishes, you will see this window pop up from where you can start creating your designs. You will be able to see the different types that you can start creating. You can explore some basics with some small tutorial right available in here. And you also have some other resources. What I suggest you do is that you select on open and navigate to the location of that ointment design file that you have just downloaded from the Google Drive folder that I have just shared with you. You will be clicking on open and you will be able to see this design that I have created for this course. This is an unexisting application that we are going to be exploring for us to be able to learn some things right at the beginning of this course. So that's it for this video. Just make sure that you are able to open this file. And if you are, you are good to go to start designing your applications with Adobe XD at the same time that you create prototypes.